Hello witches and welcome back to Witches Duel. This is a competition where we put two monthly magical subscription boxes against one another to find out which witch will reign supreme for the month. Now last month, if you saw our Witches Duel, you saw Witch Casket go up against the W box. And unfortunately, I feel as though Witch Casket is a little too overpowering for this competition, as Witch Casket had 14 items and the W box is only said to contain between five to seven. We will still be unboxing Witch Casket on this channel, it'll just have its own video. So that means the W box will be going up against a new competitor, Goddess Provisions. I ended up choosing Goddess Provisions because it is a box that I've been curious about and it looked to be similar in the price of the box, the quantity of items, and the total amount value for the box. And just like in the last video, I know not everybody's going to be here for both boxes, so if you are interested in just one box or the other, I will place timestamps in the description box down below. So you can jump to which box you're interested in. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get this duel started. Just like last time, we're going to start with the W box. A little bit of information about the W box. This is a monthly US subscription box and you get free shipping within the US. It is $15 to ship to Canada and $25 to ship internationally. For the box, it is $50, but I happened to find it when it was on a sale, so I get it for $39 a month. If you would like to also get it for $39 a month, feel free to check out the link in the description box down below so you get the same price that I got. This is not an affiliate link, I get no commission off this. This is simply a friends and family link that they gave me to share when I signed up for the subscription. So for the $50 or $39 if you use the link, you get five to seven witchy boutique items at a valued range of $80 to $120. And with that, let's go ahead and check out what's in this month's box. So here we have the box with its card inside and of course this card will tell you all the items within as well as the shop that they come from and how much each item is valued at. So on the card they do mention the fact that you may have noticed the box is a little bit different this month. We've changed the design to be more discreet in a way to respect those who are still in the broom closet. Um, I did happen to notice that when I got the box uh, previously. On the box, it did say, you know, the W box, and it had Witchcraft Way, and it had it on the front, the back, and the top, and everything. So I did notice that they took all of that graphic off and then just put it as the W box. It also says that they have included their first version of a custom spell kit along with a few other Witchcraft Way branded items. So it does look like they're kind of going towards. Um, maybe taking a page out of Witch Casket in that respect because Witch Casket will always have the spell packet that you get in every box. As well, they have the Witch Casket exclusives, so it does kind of seem like they're, they're going a little bit that way, which I do like. I mean, it works for Witch Casket, so it work for W Boss Coop. For the first item, we have the Witchwood Tea House. This is Loose Ritual Incense. I would not have guessed incense for some place named the Witchwood Tea House. But here we have it. And it was wax sealed, but well, that's coming off there. So let's see what they have to say. What they have to say about this guy. Okay, so now I'm confused because it says loose ritual incense, but then on the card it says prosperity tea. Enjoy a cup as part of your next prosperity ritual or brew in a cup as an offering to your deity. Each sip is a tribute to manifesting prosperity in your life. So is it incense or tea? I mean, I get the Witchwood Tea House, but you, you see right there, it says Loose ritual incense. So, is it tea or incense? Let's go ahead and pop this guy open. I'm still. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys. 
I mean, that, I, 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 if that's a tea, that is the most interesting looking tea I've ever seen. Then again, if it's incense, it's also a really interesting looking incense. I mean, it smells good. I just don't even know. It's like a powder. It's just a powder with chunks in it. Let me know if you've ever heard of a tea referred to as incense because I, that's a first for me and I, I'm a little confused by this one. I don't really know how to use this one. Is it tea or is it incense? Let me know. Do I drink it? Do I burn it? Let me know. Uh, so we're going to set that one off to the side now. <laughs> Alright, so the next item in our box, it's Juniper Prosperity Incense. But are these actually incense? This is what we have inside of there. Created on the day and hour of Juniper during the waxing moon as he transits into the sign of Sagittarius, where he is exalted. Burn it during any money ritual or when you are trying to increase customers and business. You see, that though I could see as kind of like a, a casting herb kind of something to burn. The other one that had the powder in it. I don't know. She's very, very different. Interesting. Uh, so that is Madame Phoenix Juniper Prosperity Incense. Oh, I didn't even sniff it. What am I doing? What does prosperity smell like? What does money smell like? Honestly, it doesn't smell far off from the other one. Let's go to the card. The card says... It says this is a blend of eight magical ingredients, so it doesn't actually tell me what the ingredients in the juniper incense are, unfortunately. Uh, but it does smell good, so there is that. At least it doesn't smell like uh, air from last, last month's unboxing. Poor air. She got the short end of that stick. Alright, so next up we have this guy. This is a blue sage wand. Blue sage is a wonderful way to attract positive energies and create a benevolent environment that is conducive for your abundant spell workings. Well, this is the guy that is uh, shedding all over the box in here. Again, smells really good this month. So where they did us dirty last month on that uh airs incense. Everything this month, so far, has smelled really good. Alright, so next up in the box we have the Abundance Working Candle. This is ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, rich vanilla, and magic. What does magic- ooh! Okay. Uh, oh, 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 that's loose. Okay, I thought that was going to be like, pressed down in there, but as you see that is loose there on the top. Obviously, don't drop this guy, um, or else he's going to his little goodies everywhere. This is an abundance working candle, a handmade candle infused with the intentions and abundance, luck, and prosperity featuring scents of cinnamon, clove, basil, and jasmine. Alright, so next up, this is a rune sticker. It says this sticker is all about the energetics and the luck and your ability to contain that luck with the correct mindset and positive energy. This sticker is your daily reminder. All right, so we have this pretty guy here. This is a Labradorite obelisk, a healing crystal prominent for good fortune. The healing properties of Labradorite make it ideal to protect from bad decisions that might result in money loss. Alright, so now we have our last item. Ah, so this is our spell kit. Um, so this is our abundance spell kit. And it says includes a green chime candle, a green quartz, abundance ritual oil, 
Abundance Casting Herbs and a Spell Card. Alright, so then it tells you what all you need. Okay, <laughs> so I just ended up getting two of the same cards there. First item I pulled out here is our green quartz. All right, so my camera ran out of media storage here, so I'm not sure exactly where it left off. Pretty sure we were talking about the candle. So this is our green chime candle. Next up, we have the Abundance Ritual Oil, which is peppermint, patchouli, orange, lavender, and basil. And that's what he looks like there. See if once again you like the smell. Ooh. Well, I hope you like it because it's on me now. It's a little bit more musky than the others, but it is still a good scent. I do wish it had um, something to kind of maybe sprinkle uh, the oil out. I don't want to tip it too far there. Something to maybe sprinkle the oil out or a rollerball or something because that just seems like that's going to be a mess there and has a very good potential to spill. Unless, unless whatever that is in the top there was supposed to be its little dropper and it just got stuck up in the top. I'm not sure. And last up in the box, we have the Abundance Casting Herbs. This is a cinnamon, basil, and leaf blend. And then of course, you can see the herbs there on the back. So just a quick recap of all the items in our April W box for attracting abundance. We have the abundance spell kit, and this is a witchcraft We have the Abundance Spell Kit. This is a Witchcraft Way exclusive and this is valued at $14. We have the Abundance Working Candle. This is also a Witchcraft Way exclusive and this is valued at $10. We have our Rune Sticker. This is again a Witchcraft Way exclusive. This is valued at $4. We have our Blue Sage Wand, another Witchcraft Way exclusive. And this one is valued at $9. Juniper Prosperity Incense. This is from the Madame Phoenix, and this is valued at $9. The Prosperity Tea from Leander Witchwood. This is a $13 value. Lastly, we have our Labradite Obelisk, and this is from Connect Co. And this is $7. So to add these guys up for the seven items comes to $66, which is a little, not the greatest, um, because it does say on their website that you get five to seven items each month at a value of $80 to $120. This month the value was $66, last month the value was $79. I kind of let it just kind of slide last month because I'm like, well, it's $1 off from being the $80 value. But this month, while I like the items better this month, I do like all of the items. I think I'll actually use all the items this month and I like the overall smell of all the items this month. It is a little disheartening that it's only valued at $66. Especially when you think that the box itself without a discount is $50 and let's say you're shipping it internationally um, that's another $25 so if you pay full price for that box plus shipping that's $75 and you only got a $66 value eh, I mean 
like I said, I like the items, but no, especially when you tell people that your box is going to be valued at 80 to 120 and for the last two months you haven't hit that $80 mark. I don't want to hate on anybody, but come on guys. And especially when, you know, the sticker, the sticker is $4. That $66 value, that's $4. I mean, eh. but again, I like it, so it's up to you if you think that that's worth the value, but we do have another contender in this duel, so let's go ahead and get into Goddess Provisions. And here we have our Goddess Provision box, where we can see, <laughs> we can see the, uh, Little strings they're trying to make their way out. Also we can see what happens when you um, Lysol to sanitize your package delivery. On thermal paper it just bleaches out everything. Uh, but here we have our goddess provision box and I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully that's not something broken in there. A little bit about Goddess Provision Box. This is also a monthly US subscription box and this box is only $33 a month. Just like with Witchcraft Way, you get five to seven items in each box and each box is valued at about $80 to $100. This is actually my first Goddess Provision Box. It is a box that, like I said, I've seen before, I've been interested in for a while, but this is the first time I will be unboxing this. So let's dive in and see if we actually hit that $80 to $100 value. All right, so there is no card on top. We just see a lot of this little floof up here, but I do see a 10, so we'll go ahead and reach for that guy first. Um, let's see if we can find the card. I don't want to dig through and ruin the surprise of everything, but I do want to see if I can at least find a card. Is there a card? Okay, it's at the very bottom. So you kind of have to ruin a bit of the surprise. Is this? Yes. Okay. Wow. Alright, so, so Goddess Provisions kind of gives you a whole little booklet there. Uh, but we don't want to look at all that because we don't want to ruin all of the surprises in there. I tried my best to leave that little uh, crinkly floof there on top. Alright, so our first item here, we have the Lilac and Willow Moonstone Hand Poured Sword... Sword Candle? Soy Candle. Ooh, that smells really good. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> there's also... Maybe that's... <gasps> that's what I heard. Okay, so that's what I heard. That is what our soy candle looks like here. Um, let's see. This is the Lilac and Willow Moonstone Candle. Woo! I lost a seed. The Lilac and Willow Moonstone Candle. Light this gorgeous soy wax candle to infuse your space with moonstone energy. It's a depressed, oh, it's depressed with moonstone, pink Himalayan salt, plus assorted wildflowers, and emits a crisp aroma of coconut, cucumber, vanilla, and mint to inspire balance and harmony. I really like that. Um, and I mean, I know it said there was like moonstones depressed into it, which there are moonstones in it. They're not depressed, they're like... Hopefully you can see it, these little, little chunks. Okay, so that's item number one. And, ooh, what is this? This is Quantum Beauty Gemstone Power Oil. Blissful Balance Oil Tire Eye Stone Roller. Ooh. Balance your vibration with tire eye. This is made with an uplifting blend of sunflower, Jojoba and rosemary oil, 
boy, but why can I not speak today? My gosh. Uh, rosemary oils to hydrate, soothe, and calm while a blissful blend of honeysuckle orange and cedarwood bark oils encourage a more balanced mood. The beautiful formula meets your skin with powerful tiger eye stone known for vitality and strength, transforming and restoring balance on all levels. Okay, so the way they kept talking about it being tiger eyes stone roller, I actually thought there was going to be a tiger eye stone in there. Um, it's actually safety sealed, which I appreciate that, so you're not leaking oil all over your box. Aha! The tiger- ooh, that is really pretty. The tiger eye stone is the rollerball. I really actually, I can't, I can't really smell it. You know, for as many scents as they said were in this, I was expecting to like uncap it and just hit with a wave of aroma. But I really cannot spell I can't speak either, but I can't smell uh, any scent off of this. Which is very interesting for as many very powerful scents as they have in here. Um, this is Passport to Beauty, Gemstone Power Oil Collection. Again, it's really pretty. The tiger eye, that's really pretty, I like that. Um, but no scent to it. And that's unfortunate. What is this? Fine and raw chocolate. This is 70% cocoa and sea salt. So it says there are, it's a 50% roast and 50% raw bean to bar. I don't know what that means. 100% uh, organic ingredients, ethically sourced, no refined sugar, plant-based. Um, so this would actually be a waste on me to try. I will probably end up giving this one away um, because unfortunately I don't really like chocolate all that much. I know it's blasphemy, I'm a female and I don't like chocolate. Crazy. Um, not that I won't eat chocolate, there's a difference. Um, you know, if it's got like chocolate chip cookies, good. But just to sit down and eat a bar of chocolate, that's much for me. So I will end up giving this away to somebody who will appreciate a 70% cocoa chocolate bar. I mean, it sounds cool. It sounds interesting. I like it. I love the packaging. So we'll test that one out on somebody else. Let's see what else we have. That was item number three. Ooh, what is this? I write with intentions and manifest my dreams. Here we go. They look like they look like Clems or something. <laughs> Did not quite see dreams there at the very end. Got that. It has the goddess provisions there on the end. Alright. So we have a pen. Looks like a little rose uh Rose gold, there we go, little rose gold pen there. And filled with, you know, no, they don't actually move around. I was kind of hoping they would shake a little bit. So that way when you're kind of like twitchy and you're like shaking around, I thought maybe it'd have like a little maraca kind of sound. That would have been fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so it spins this way and... All right. He writes in black. He's a little ballpoint pen. I mean, he's not the best writer in the world, but it is pretty. Um, and I do like that it comes in its own little case. It's cute. So that is item number four. Let's 
see what else we have. Ooh, what is what is this little guy? This is a stone. Here we have a stone of labradite, a powerful stone of magic. Meditate with this crystal on your third eye to expand your consciousness and awaken your psychic powers. Alright. That's item number five. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, what is this? It is a jade wisdom and peace facial mask. A fuse. A fuse. Can't speak today. This is what being quarantined will do for you. You'll just be home, not speaking to anybody. So you forget how to speak. You forget how to word. Uh, jade wisdom and peace facial mask infused with oil absorbing matcha to help promote shine free skin Ooh, I like that I need that in my life there we go that is that's cute and then lastly we have a book this is the crystal seer power crystals for magic meditation and ritual Within every crystal is a message that says to pursue until your finger catches a page or simply choose a stone that speaks to you in the moment. And inside the book... Um, but yeah, so it looks like each one gives you a little bit of information about the stone. So it's a little uh, crystal guide there. So with that, that's all of our items, so let's go through, quickly recap each item, and then how much each item is valued at. We have our crystal book, and this is valued at $13. Our jade mask, this is valued at $3. We have our tiger's eye roll-on oil. This thing... Hang on. Wait a second. This thing is valued. This thing right here with its little tiger eye in there is valued at $45. $45 for an oil that I can't smell? You... I mean, it says $45. This is $45. Going on what it says. We have our Labradite here. This is valued at $6. Our Clear Quartz Pin, which is valued at $11. Our Fine and Raw Sea Salt Chocolate Bar. This is valued at $5. That better be some really good chocolate because, I mean, let's be honest, you can go and get, like, you know, a Kit Kat bar. I don't eat Kit Kats either, but I know you can get like, you know, one of those king size Kit Kat bars for like a, what, a dollar eighty something? This little guy is five dollars. Better be some good chocolate. I'm saying. Um, and then we have, last but not least, our Lilac and Willow Moonstone Candle. Wow, as soon as I take the lid off of that thing, I just... Whew, smell see that's what I thought the other oil was supposed to smell like but anyways um we have our lilac and moonstone candle here and that is retailed at $12 let me add that up really quick and see what our total value is all right so I've added everything up for all seven items in the goddess provisions April box crystal connection this all came to $95. I feel like that's maybe a little high, but honestly, it's just, it's this guy. It's this little thing for $45. And I just, I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand how stones and oils are priced, but I think $45 for this guy is way too much. I'm not saying he's not worth that much for all of the ingredients and everything in there. I'm just saying I would not necessarily pay $45 for that. Um, 
However, I think sometimes some of these things are a little oddly priced. Like, remember back to our sticker here that was $4 and you get a jade face mask for $3. Something here isn't quite adding up either. But that's neither here nor there. I didn't create the prices, I didn't create the values. I'm just here to tell you how much each item was valued at and in the end, which one did I think reign supreme? Honestly, this month, and this is probably going to be shocking to everyone since I already slammed them on their value of their box and you know which box I'm talking about now, it's gotta go to the W box, honestly. Um, I felt like the W box had more items that I would actually use with the tea slash incense, uh, whatever item that happened to be, I'll use it either way. I thought the overall smells were great. Um, Goddess Provisions, I did like some of their items. I'm really excited to test out the face mask, um, this candle, oh my god, this candle, it just smells so good. Um, so don't get me wrong, they did have some great items in there, it's just not necessarily $45. That's where I'll leave that at. Um, so yeah, like I said, in the end, this month, the winner of the Witch's Duel has to go to the W box. So what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you think Goddess Provisions should have reigned supreme? Uh, do you like the items better in Goddess Provisions? I mean, I realize the pin may be a little bit more useful on a daily basis. The gym uh, booklet that kind of tells you a little bit about each of the items may be a little bit more useful for some. So I see completely where some people might think that Goddess Provisions actually should have been the winner. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think it should have been Goddess Provisions or do you agree? The W box reigns supreme. And what do you think about the value? Um, <laughs> that's an interesting one to me. Like I said, we'll wait and see what next month has to hold, but this is the second month in a row that the W box didn't quite make its $80 minimum value. And it's $66, that is well below that $80 minimum value. That's kind of, uh, that's, that's not good in my opinion. The items are good. That value though, it'll get you. So that's gonna be it for this video guys. Like I said, let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you like this video. Uh, of course you can do that by hitting that thumbs up button, letting me know that you like this video. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, go ahead, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!